Hi, it's Katie from Lady Red Crafting, and today we're going to use those Dollar Tree Styrofoam eggs and do three different crafts. Craft one. For this egg, we're going to use a razor blade, and we're going to actually cut the egg the long way, all the way around. And then we're going to do that again, starting at the top of that egg and go around again. And you're gonna basically be making it into quarters. You're not gonna cut all the way through, just a little bit through. And then I grab some of my um, fabric squares. These are just some leftover scraps that I had from another project. And I use my Cricut uh, scraping tool and it worked great to stuff the fabric into the egg. It's just that simple. So you just see me in there and I'm just stuffing the egg basically um, using that tool and um, it looks so great when you're done. So then I just repeat that four more times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the flower fabric for one and then I'm going to use some white fabric for the next uh, quarter of the egg. And then once I'm done using that white fabric, I'm gonna do the flower fabric again, and then another one with the white fabric. This craft is really easy to do, and it's something you could do while you're watching TV, or you can do this with your kids. Just pre-cut a few eggs already for them, and have the, um, fabric already cut and it's a great exercise for them to do and make their own eggs too. This last step is optional but I like to finish off the seams. For this one I used a quarter inch wide white satin ribbon um, and you can usually get that at Walmart or any craft store. Every once in a while I see something similar at Dollar Tree but um, sometimes I have to get some of this stuff at the craft store or at Walmart. And so I just do that and I hot glue um, the ribbon on, um, as you can see there. And then I put a little bit more hot glue as I'm wrapping that around just to make sure that it all stays okay. And then I cut off any excess ribbon. And for my last step, I just wanted to finish it off with a bow. And this is just a pre-made bow that I bought a while ago from the fabric store, um, actually to scrapbook with. And I just was using some of my scrapbooking materials up and I decided just to hot glue that onto the top. And that is all. On to egg number two. So for this egg, I used a skewer from the kitchen and I just put that uh, styrofoam egg right on top. And then I started painting it with my pink Waverly chalk paint. And I applied two coats of the pink paint to the egg. So this next step here was me trying to dry the egg quicker and I accidentally realized that, wow, this is making the egg look like it has scales. And so I kept going with it and I used my hot tool and I just allowed the um, egg to just kind of crackle all around and it kind of raised up in some spots. And as long as you didn't get the heat too close to it and kept moving it, it turned out just really nice. So I did, it was a happy accident and it turned out really great. So next I took some um, Mod Podge with a tiny bit of water added to it and I just coated the egg just to seal everything in and to give it a nice glossy finish. So it was the glossy Mod Podge that I was using the orange container. And as I said earlier, I was trying to use up some of my scrapbooking materials and I found these nice cute paper uh, flowers and I used those with one of the brads that I used to use for scrapbooking 
and I just go ahead and I poke that into the top of the egg just to finish it off. And I really liked how these turned out. I think these were one of my favorite eggs and it was all done by accident. I'd love to hear about any uh, crafting mistakes that turned into something beautiful. If you guys have anything that you'd like to share, please send me a message um, through my channel. Thanks. So the last thing I did here is I um, used some hot glue to fill in that hole that I had poked into the egg. And once the glue dried, I just did a tiny bit of paint on top of that and then sealed it off with Mod Podge. And that's it. Egg number three. So for this egg, we used the styrofoam eggs again. And these were the smaller sized eggs that I used that were from the Dollar Tree. It was the eight pack of them. And I took some old scrap paper, book paper and I'm going to go ahead and just cut a little piece off of the scrapbooking paper. And I used three different colors, pink, green, and blue. And I just tore those pieces of um, paper up and into various sizes, some of them long strips, some small squares or circles. Just tore them up, no rhyme or reason. And then I took my Mod Podge and I'm going to um, pour that into the bowl with a little bit of water and I stirred that up just to thin that out a little bit. And then I used that skewer again, just like I did on the last egg. And I um, skewered the styrofoam egg to the um, skewer. And I then started Mod Podging all of the little pieces of paper to the egg. And this turned out amazing. It was so nice. So once we're done Mod Podging the egg that's on the skewer, we let it dry for a little bit and I just put the skewer in a cup and then I just let it dry while I'm working on more eggs. And then when I take the egg off of the skewer once it's dried, I go ahead and I just Mod Podge a few more little pieces of paper over the hole so you can't see that there was ever a hole there in the egg. And then I just set it in that egg carton there to let it dry. And then that is all. You can add a ribbon if you'd like. Otherwise, just leave them how they are. And they're just amazing. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, please hit that subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends. Thank you and have a great night. Bye.